Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here today because I wanted to show you how to play the main riff from a song I made a little while ago called Midwest Emo Song. I've had a lot of requests for learning how to play it and to tab it out. And uh, while I was tabbing it out, I was looking at the tab and thinking, I'm glad I already know how to play this because it's a little convoluted because of the amount of techniques. Uh, so I thought it would be easier to just do a video and if you guys like it, I'll post another one and show you how to play the rest of the song. So a lot of people commented that my tone sounded a little off compared to the standard Midwest Emo. And I think that's because I'm using my Relish guitar, which has a piezo pickup, which gives it kind of a steel string sound. I just thought it sounded cool, so that's why I used it. I didn't really put that much thought into, oh, I need to use a telly if I make... Uh, an emo math rock song or or a uh, Midwest emo song. I just thought, hey, this sounds cool, so I'll, I'll use it. The main part of the riff, it involves a combination of tapping and picking with multiple fingers. So uh, if you've never learned to finger pick, this is probably going to be a little difficult. But the first thing you're going to do is have your guitar in dadgad tuning or a D suspended chord. So that's... Uh, drop D, A, D, G, A, D. And it makes this really nice chord even if you just strum the strings all by themselves. Dadgad, uh, great tuning, especially for kind of forlorn chord progressions. So to start this, we're gonna start on the fifth fret, and then we're gonna go up to the seventh fret, and then up to the nine, and then back to the seven. And I'll post the tab as I play this, and then I'll post it again at the end. And there'll be a link at the bottom in case you just want to skip to the tab and learn it yourself. So, I'll play it slowly first. So you can see it's sort of a similar phrasing that changes slightly every time I play it. When you're playing it slow, it might sound a little weird, but once you speed it up, it'll sound more like the song. So let me play it at speed now. One more time. So let me pull up the tab and I'll play it alongside the tab. Super fun riff to play. It's the majority of the song. The parts that are over it are mostly pretty simple single notes. With that being said, let me really break this down. So, <clears throat> on the fifth fret section, so that first little line, it is thumb on the, uh, the I guess you'd call it the E string, but it's a D in this case. And then I'm, I have my first finger on the, the D string and my second finger, my middle finger on the G string and then my ring finger on the B string. So this looks like... So I'm picking all three of those, and then I'm hammering on with my second finger. And then the last step is while I'm hammering on with my left hand, my right hand is now free, I come over and I tap the 12. So one more time, that's one motion. So if you have questions, feel free to leave them down below. Hopefully this was helpful. I will leave the tab after this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're getting close to 500 subscribers and that's really exciting. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. So thanks.